Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of New Star Sucker 5! I remember this time, what I was supposed to do! I was supposed to buy this goddamn mansion! Yes! One step further towards my private island. Oh boy, so I only need 150 million more. Let's see, I also got some suggestions where to, to move to, if I can move anywhere, I don't know. Let's see if we can... Uh, where is it? Is it my contract? Request transfer, yes. See if I can go anywhere. So who wants me? Who wants me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here where I can go. Any continent. Someone said go to Australia. I don't know if I can... Can I go to Auckland? This club cannot afford your transfer fee, unfortunately. Let's see if I can go to... <laughs> okay. Huh, Australia doesn't even exist. I'm sorry. Um... Is it in here? Oh, there it is! Nice! Let's see if I can go to Sydney. Cannot afford my fee. Cannot afford my fee. No one can afford my fee. I'm sorry, you who wanted me to go to Australia. I cannot. Oh, since no one can afford my fee. Let's see if I can go to any other nice place. North America. Let's see. What the hell? Is... All these part of North America? Not if you're asking me, but let's see it USA. USA! Oh, they can't. God damn it. Let's see if I can. Oh shit, North America. Do we have Brazil here? No, it's not. Let's go to South America. Maybe I can go to Brazil. Who knows? Santos. Whoa! I can go to Santos! Shall I do. I shall fucking do this! But they want. No, I shall not do this. Let's see if I can ne negotiate. I want higher. <laughs> Come on. Negotiate. I want lower. Yay, I want higher. I want lower. I want lower. Yay. So, if I go to Santos, they are willing to offer me about one tenth of what I'm earning right now. Fuck you. Oh. Basically. I don't have anything else to say. Uh, it seems as if I can't go anywhere else than Europe. Let's see. Barcelona. How much are you willing to offer me? Higher! Higher! Oh fuck. Again! Again! Yay! Higher! Yay! Lower! Lower! Oh. I can't negotiate. Okay, Barcelona does not want me any longer. Let's see if we... Real Madrid. I mean, look, they're not offering, offering me anything. Higher. Lower. 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 Yeah. Yet. I mean, it's not even worth it. I want to buy the Paradise Island. I can't do that if I go to Real Madrid. I'm the best attacker in the world, yet they are only willing to offer me $150,000. Fuck them, basically. I mean, look, <laughs> even with the signing fee, I would earn more in Dortmund than in Real Madrid in two months. On about almost only one month. That's crazy. Um, cancel, yes. I don't want to go anywhere, I'm staying in Dortmund, yes. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, but I'm, I'm staying here. I'm staying in Dortmund. I'm sorry, boss, that I chose to take that little adventure but I'm staying yeah sure a dog that's nice hey boss you know hey I'm oh I'm banned okay let's skip this match then sure yeah we won anyway great Bayern they're not going don't doing too great actually they had some economical troubles the next up is Andorra that's great actually Let's go and beat their asses. Yeah, Andorra. I mean, if we don't win this one with at least seven goals, then something's seriously wrong. At least if you ask me. And now my coffee is done with, so don't worry, I will not take any weird breaks no longer to drink it. Uh, Andorra. Sure, game number one. Okay, so that was a little bit of a different beginning, actually. I didn't get to talk about anything I just looked if as you know if I could go anywhere I couldn't that's too bad but Andorra 
Yeah! You're worthless. You're absolute worthless. No, I guess Andorra is a nice country. I've never been there. Um, yeah, not too much to go to, I guess not, but... I mean, it's a kind of a small country, but they don't suck. They suck at football, but generally, I don't think they suck. Ouch! God damn it. Uh, where is Andorra even? Is it... Is that the country in between Spain and France? I don't remember. Oh. It doesn't really matter. Yeah! Yeah, it, I think it's gotta be in between there somewhere. Um... You saw it on the map, but I forgot to look, or I forgot what I looked at, so... Yeah. Oh, oh, I missed the ball. God damn it. Well, we need something nice to talk about. I know something nice to talk about. I've mentioned them before sometimes. The Crooks. It's a nice British indie pop rock slash 60s vinyl band. It makes great music. They're going on a European tour, and also they're going to America. Yeah! This spring, um, and they're releasing a new album. And they're like, yeah, um, I went to visit them last autumn. Maybe you remember those episodes I talked about it. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've talked about them quite some times before. Um, and then I partied a little bit with the band. It was a great time. And they were like, yeah, we gotta go to Sweden. Yeah, we gotta go there again. But they didn't. Uh, instead, they went, you know, they're, they're going around Europe, they're going to Germany, Italy, I think Austria, France, uh, Holland, Denmark, all those countries, and England, of course. Um, and then they're like, oh, oh shit, I shouldn't have asked him to pass the ball there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they're going to Copenhagen, and, um, oops, I missed that one, sorry. Yeah, um... And what was I supposed to say? Yeah, basically I'm going to Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark. Yeah, to, to see them. Yeah! Which is kind of nice actually, it's not too far, it's kind of cheap to go there from Stockholm. You have a direct train line in between the cities, which is great. I mean, imagine taking, in, you know, taking the train... <laughs> Oops, I just had a hiccup and a burp at the same time, almost. Yeah, but imagine him taking the train from Stockholm to Copenhagen. I'm sorry, the phone rang. I had to answer it. Anyway, I was talking about the crooks. They're going to Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark. Yeah, and we're going there to visit them, taking the fast train. It's kind of cheap, actually. It's If you uh, count in euros, it's under 20 euros to go there. And it was a little bit more expensive to go home since... It's the fucking Eurovision Song Contest final. Yeah! On the Saturday. So we're going there on the Friday, basically. Very, very early in the morning. So we have like three whole days in Copenhagen. We're going to eat some fucking pulse. Yeah! That's, that's the shit. If you're speaking Danish, it's like a hot dog, but especially Danish one. That's It's more red. It tastes a little bit more spicy and better, actually. And, and it's been a long time since I lost eight pulse, so... Pulses. Yeah, it's a really, really nice hot dog. Um, so, yeah, you, you did that one well at least, then, Danes. Yeah. Um, and what else? Um, yeah. We're going to drink and have fun and, yeah, go watch them play. I guess. And then we. I don't know what happens actually. As I said, they're going to play on the Friday evening. Um, then we have the entire Saturday there as well. And that's the same day as you know, the Eurovision Song Contest Finals are held in Copenhagen as well. So, yeah, I guess we'll have to deal with a lot of Eurovision fans who's like, oh, and I, I. No, I don't know what they're singing on. Maybe it's not Celine Dion or whoever that was. Whitney Houston, maybe it was. Yeah, I think so. Maybe they're not singing that, even though I know that Celine Dion actually... Uh, competed in the Eurovision Song Contest for Switzerland for some fucking reason in the 90s or something and I guess guess they won as well actually I don't know for sure but I think so that she competed and won for Switzerland which is really really odd but yeah she she did that <laughs> um, I don't know why I know it because maybe all Swedes are fucking Eurovision nerds more or less more you know in a bigger extent than many other countries at least 
It's like we and the Irish. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Logan and ABBA. That's how you do it. That's how you win the Eurovision. Yes. <laughs> and so, yeah. Six to zero. Oh, that's that's good enough. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, we're going there to watch them. Hopefully, I'll have, get the opportunity to hang out, ha hang around. No, not hang around, but hang out with them a little bit more. Chit chat a little bit. So that'd be kind of nice. I hope so at least. Um, we'll see what happens though. Maybe they just, maybe they become the worst. No, I don't think they become the worst divas in the world. Actually, uh, they're not that big yet. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> they're kind of weird though because I follow them on Twitter and they're like. Once they're drunk, they use that Twitter account to communicate with each other. So, so one of them writes like, so, Oh, I knew this was going to be a bad evening. Good thing I can go home and watch this series. And then another one replies. Both are, you know, it's the same, the crooks account. And the other one replies like, Oh, g and T it's George and Tom. They're really wasted tonight. And the first one is like, replies to that reply. I, once again from the same crooks account. It's like yeah, I knew that was going to happen tonight <laughs> Which is really really odd uh, What the fuck boss? Come on Yeah, but they're kind of odd in that way they used I mean they use the Twitter to to communicate with the fans as well Of course, but they also use it to communicate with each other once they're drunk which is weird yeah, but we're going to continue and play some more games. What else do we have to talk about except for the crooks? I don't know. Um, maybe the Google Earth series. I recorded the first episode. It was People liked it. People said, visit my country, visit that country. And I will. I will fucking visit more countries. And I did try to record the second episode. Um, I went to Albania. But I was extremely unpleased with that episode. So I decided to erase it. And I will record it once again. Another time, to s yeah, obviously. Um, because I found out, you know, when I went to Sweden, it's like, okay, so I really know where everything is, I know what to look for. And when I went to Albania, it's like, hmm, where the hell am I? Maybe if I go here, I'll find something. Nope. But if I try in this place, I'll find no, okay, nothing. <laughs> so I was doing like that for 20 minutes, and then I realized that, you know, this ain't working. So. I will basically learn a little bit more about Albania and then I'll go there again. Yeah, it's kind of hard, you know, Albania, it's, it's not one of those countries that I know a lot about. It's like, yeah, mm, Albania, I know that the capital is, capital is Tirana, I know that it's close to Greece and sort of Croatia. But except for that, I don't know shit about that country. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, oh, oof! Oh, you're as worthless as Ola Toivonen, you fucking wanker. Yeah, um, so that's, that's kind of odd, um, yeah. Albania, you, you are an odd country. I did find a lot of nice pictures though. Just depends on where you're looking at. I mean, in the beginning it's like, okay, so this looks, it looks okay, it's not too special. Yeah, I don't see any reason why I would want to go to this country. I mean, as I said, it looks good, but not great. That's what I thought. Then when I continued looking, I saw more and more awesome pictures. It's like, wow, this place, wow. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I realized that I guess most countries in the world do look awesome. They have awesome nature and everything. Um, but it just depends. I mean, I guess you have to really realize that, you know, you really need to find where to look, I guess. Yeah, that's what you need to do, uh, and then you can be amazed by, <coughs> I guess, all countries in the entire world. It's like going on a vacation, you can't just go to, you know, Egypt and go to the fucking beach, because, they have, you know, why do that when you can go to the pyramids? Yeah, and then you can say the same thing about maybe Jor Jordan, do you say Jordan? Or Jordania? You know, Jordan, a country next to Egypt? It's like, okay, so what do you do there? There is like a desert country squeezed in between, in between Saudi Arabia and Egypt and some other countries. It's like, yeah, they have sand. But then you haven't found out about the city of Petra. I think it's called at least. It's like a very, very old stone city built into a mountain. Yeah, which is 
amazing to see but I mean if you don't know anything about Jordania or Jordan then you don't know about that city um, so yeah it's you know, I mean you really know you, you need to know where to look to actually get the best experience oh damn okay um, so I guess it's the same with all countries in the world oh what that yellow cord hit okay we got a penalty okay he, he's, Ah, okay, he didn't miss it though, that's good. Um, so that's kind of the, the thing with the world. If you are going to go somewhere, don't just do nothing. Oh, they got another yellow card. What the fuck, buying Mönchengladbach, I guess? They're playing really, really ugly now. Yeah, they do. I guess they're angry because they're going to lose this one. Yeah! But, yeah, as I said, um, <laughs> don't don't just go to places and don't do anything. Be be active. Find out about the places before you go to them. Find out what you can do. Find out what you want to do. Most of all, what you want to do. I mean, if you want to go to Magaluf and just get wasted six nights and then go home, that's okay too. Yeah. Um, but as long as you know what you want to do, not just go there and be like, nah. <laughs> So what what should I do now then, yes? Um, do you like Mr. Bean? No, I guess not. I mean, if you've seen when he's on vacation. That movie, I mean, Mr. Bean is kind of underrated, actually. He's done some newer movies as well. You know, the one in which he he destroys the Mona Lisa. Oh, oh not again! He got a red card for it! Fucking hell, fucking... Bone Breakers, or whatever you call it. Bean Knäcka Yang! God damn it. Skip time. Now I have to practice something else again. God damn it. Gosh dang it. Well, I will guess. I guess we're going to win this one anyway, yes. How long will I be gone for? One match, okay. That's that's good, that's good. Could have been worse. Uh, yes, sure. Boss, you know, be pleased with me. Boom, 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 boom. Oh shit. Oh damn it! Oh, I was a little bit lucky there. Um, <coughs> but yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's just know what you want to do, man. Know what you want to do and do it. Fucking do it. Yeah, let's play against Bayer Leverkusen. Yeah, that will be very good. Mm. Sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm going to keep that Google Earth ser serious or the episodes. I'm going to keep them going because that's kind of neat. Um, I'm going to read about Albania. Hopefully I won't be as stupid looking because I felt kind of stupid. It's like, oh, I don't know anything about this country. God damn it. I mean, some countries will be more easy than others. Oops, I almost passed myself there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, it will be easier for me to, to visit Norway than Albania because I know more about Norway. I know a little bit, I mean, I know about the Hutterutten and everything, I know where Oslo is, I know about your fucking islands in Antarctica and the fucking John Mayen islands and everything. Island, uh, Norway, they have some kind of fetish for islands that are far away from the mainland. <laughs> they do, yeah. Yeah! You'll see that when I upload the Norway episode. I mean, they have islands, they have annexed islands. At the South Pole, not only one of them, but several. And they have, you know, poor, they have claimed part of the South Pole as well, which is really, really weird. I guess it's because they were really, really horny for oil. And then they found oil outside of the mainland, and they're like, yeah, so what about the South Pole then? I don't know, let's, let's keep that one. Just because, you know. Yeah, they kind of they wanted to become some sort of a colonial power. Yeah, um, but they lost it. They lost it all. Or, and they, they didn't lose it, but they were too late to say. Uh, so they instead decided to, you know, yeah, we're, we're going to... We're going to the South Pole. Yeah! That's the only part of land that is not yet explored. Maybe we can find El Dorado or Atlantis or something. And no, they, they found a small island, a rocky island with a lot of penguins on it. Yay! <laughs> Well, if the oil ever runs out in Norway, maybe they can start drilling down there as well. Who knows? Who knows? My nose, yeah. 
That's good. 40. Yeah! Nice. Um, so we're going to win this game as well, obviously. I kind of, kind of displeased till that, that I, you know, I can't go to another team. To be honest, um, because they want. I mean, I can go to another team, but they, oh, they won't give me as much as I want them to. Uh, when it comes to money, yeah. Uh, so, oh shit, yeah. Uh, basically, shoot, man. Oh damn. Yeah, um, I have to stay in Dortmund to make progress in the best way possible. And, oof, I almost hit the goal there. That's, that's nice, I guess. I don't know, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, pass the ball. Take that. Yes. Here we go. Oh, we're breaking through, we're breaking through, and... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm like Messi. <laughs> yeah! Or I'm like Lewandowski or someone. I don't know. I don't know who I am like. Maybe I'm like the overlord himself ruling over all mankind. Or jellyfish kind. Yeah. Um. Mm. So, one half to go. That, oh, sh By the way, Olympic Games. We took our first two goals. That's fucking great. Yes. I was a little bit angry. But you know, we took oh, no medals or no gold medals. Um, we had like six silver and one bronze and then we took two gold medals in a row which is kind of neat actually so I'm kind of pleased about that it was in the ski what called stafet I don't know the team team competition in which you are you know several persons competing together um, <coughs> you know switching each, each other off so that's that's great actually we we yeah, we took both two gold medals there, and the Norwegians, they were fucking mad, because, you know, that's their, um, <laughs> basically, if, if it's anything that they're going to win in the Olympics, it's either the, um, Staffet competition in ladies or men's, yeah, but we won both, and Norway, Norway they didn't take any medals in any of them, <laughs> yeah, so they're kind of mad right now. Oh boy, at least those who care about the Olympic Games. I guess not all Norwegians care about the Olympic Games, nor does all Swedes. I guess no British people care about the Winter Olympics, at least. <laughs> um, or if you do, tell me. Maybe maybe like it. I guess if you're from Canada, I got kind of a lot of subscribers from Canada, actually. If you are from Canada, then I guess that you care about the Olympic Games, because I'm, I'm following, you know, Ryan... Le or something, some French sounding last name. I didn't sound mean to, to sound mean there, but he's basically Northern Lion on YouTube. I'm following him on, on Twitter and he always tweets about the Olympic Games hockey. He's like, Oh, good game, Finland. Too bad you didn't beat us this time. Yeah. Oh, Sweden absolutely deserved that victory against uh, Czech Republic and everything. So he obviously watches most of the games at least. I mean, it can be kind of bad that I heard that he lives in Vancouver, which is on the west coast in America, or in Canada. It's basically North America as well, but in Canada. Um, so it might be kind of hard for him to follow the games if they start, you know, 9 a.m. Swedish time or 8 a.m. Central, or, you know, Greenwich Mean Time. You say that Mean Greenwich Time, Mean, mean Greenwich Time, something like that. Um, yeah, if, if you basically, if it starts at, at 8 a.m. there, I guess it starts in the middle of the night in Canada, maybe you can watch it anyway, I don't know, I don't know how his, his rhythm, sleeping rhythm is, but maybe, I mean, if you work as a YouTuber, you can, you have kind of a lot of, not spare time, but you, you have a very flexible day, you can do whatever you want, maybe if you want to watch the Olympic Games, you can do that, yeah, nice, a new boot sponsorship contract, that's good, thank you, come again. Um, that's good. Yeah, so I guess we're done. Let's do some horse racing, yes, because because horses are are nice. Treat, yes. Race, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on, horsey. You can do this. You can do this, horsey. Oh, if you lose, you know what happens. You'll become fucking horse meat. Okay, he'll become horse meat. Yeah. Not not soon, but one day, you know. I guess, at least. I don't really have the stomach to actually make meat out of my horses. Spaghetti forgetting. Treat. 
I mean, Spaghetti Forgetti is my new favorite. Okay, back to driving. Did win four races in a row, though. I guess Spaghetti Forgetti is not my favorite horse, but I'm going to race this horse anyway. And obviously, he knows how to do it. Yes, yes. Fucking sweet. That's how you do it. Look at that one. He goes for it. That's goddamn awesome. Yes. Amazing. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed also this episode. And hopefully I'll see you all around the next time. Yeah. That's what I had to say for today. That's it, folks. Yeah, you have to stay tuned for the next episode, I guess. <laughs> Until then, goodbye.